Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Fuller House episode number 7, Ramona's Not So Epic Party. In this episode here, Ramona, the daughter of Kimmy, Kimmy Gibbler, is having a birthday. She's turning, I think she's turning 13. And everybody gets together to celebrate her birthday, but things do not go according to plan. There are some things happen, the things go wrong, but it's like, just like always, things do have a way of coming together to bring out the happy. This is always fun and it's always good. And then you have a little sad story going on with Max and his dog. It's always fun to see a boy and his dog, but he's trying to teach his he's trying to teach little Junior to go out go to the bathroom, but outside the house instead of in the house. And he's having some trouble with that, but he comes up with some clever ways to make sure that works. And also going on, you have was the relationship between. Kimmy and Fernando. Now, they're supposed to be getting divorced, but it seems like the feelings aren't gone. Fernando does does look, care about um, Kimmy, and Kimmy does still love Fernando, but Fernando still has this bad thing of, he can't stop cheating. I don't know what the... He wants, he keeps claiming he wants to be with Kimmy, but he can't stop sleeping with other women at the same time. Like this dude, you can't have it both ways. You can't, you can't, have your cake and eat it too. So you gotta pick, either pick Kimmy and stay with her, and y'all can be a family again, or you, you can be with somebody else. Cause you can't cheat on the, on the side, have girls on the side, and still be with Kimmy too. You can have both. Okay, that's what episode was going, that's what's going on. And, and then also you have the relationship between, um, what's his name? Uh, the doctor, the doctor, the doctor, the doctor, the doctor, okay. Oh, Matt. Matt and DJ are, are look like they're going to they're gonna become a couple. I can see that right now. But Steve is back on this episode, played by um, Scott Weiner. Well, I mean, Weinger. He's back on the show. And, and he still has feelings for DJ. And he's pretty, uh, he's pretty, he's pretty obvious about it. He's trying to give her all, all the signals to let her know that, hey, I'm available. I want to be with you. But she has no clue to it. And she's pretty, totally oblivious to it. So it's like, his, he, every, everything he's trying to do is pretty much in vain. So all this is going on in the episode right here. Now, here's the thing. This episode would have been enjoyable for me if it wasn't for these two things here. First off, it's Fernando... And Steve. Fernando's played by Juan Pablo de Pace. Okay? Now, it's his accent on the show when he's when he's acting. Now, I don't know if he talks, talks this way in real life or not, but it comes off so phony and over the top and so cheesy. It just takes you out of the picture from takes me out of the picture that I can't get into it. Because every time he talks, uh, it, it just it just it just come off annoying. Now it's 2016, and I understand this happened a lot back in the day with a lot of ethnic actors. I mean, not not just from Spanish, Asian, Black, Indian. It doesn't matter, male or female. If they had them on screen or had them talking, they had to overdo what they were. I mean, if they were just Black, it couldn't just be a Black person talking. No, they had to overemphasize their blackness by talking extra ghetto, using more slang than normal. They just had to, they had to overdo it because it, it made, I guess, it made it funnier and for the joke, I guess. Or if they were Asian, they had to overemphasize their accent. Even if they didn't have an accent, they had to make an accent and then overdo that. Or if they were, in, like I said, any ethnic group, they had to overdo their accent to, to I guess, to fit in or be, to be funny. They always put the comic relief in some type of way. And you think that would change now in 2016 where an actor who, who, who was a, who's Latino or whatever ethnic group wouldn't have to do that anymore. But seeing him do that on this show takes me out of the picture. and doesn't come off as funny. It just comes off as, as sad, really, or, or, or annoying, which, which, I, which I don't want, want to feel. I mean, it's kind of messed up that an actor still has to do this today, now. And it's like this, ah. Oh. Like why? And another thing I don't like is um Steve's desperate attempt to try to get back DJ. I, mean, I understand he's still in love with her, but I hate to see a character, no matter man or woman, chase after somebody who's not into them. It makes them seem sad and desperate, and it not and it makes me take me out of the picture. Just take me out of the picture because 
I can't get behind somebody who's constantly chasing after someone who does not want to be with them. It just comes off really, really, really annoying. And I cannot get into it. I've seen this done in a lot of TV shows. It mostly happens with, with, with women. They have, they have a woman who's supposed to be smart, intelligent, has her act together, and then she's chasing after this one man for seasons. I mean, just constantly like throwing herself at him. Desperately throwing herself at him over the time. And the guy's pushing her away, chasing, t running away from her, doesn't want to do with her. Now, eventually, a lot down the road, like, 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 she wears, like, wears him down. And he finally gives in and says, oh, well, you're here. You've always been here. I might as well date you. That's not good. I hate to see, I hate to see that. And so, this episode here could have been good. I could have really enjoyed it a whole lot. It wasn't for those two actors' performances. I mean... I mean, Scott Wag Wagner didn't do a bad job. His film wasn't bad. It's just that I, I hate to see desperate characters on film. And Fernando's, if he was, if he just had, if he had him talk like a person, even if he does have an accent, I'm pretty sure it's not that thick and over the top. I would have been fine with that. He just talked normally. Why are they doing it? What this route? I, I don't know. Doesn't come off funny to me. This comes off as annoying. Oh. Wish I had better news, but I guess you can't. I guess you can't. I guess you can't love all the episodes. All right, it is what it is. But leave your comments down below. Let me know what this episode, how you felt about this episode, and do you have any thoughts or opinions about what I just talked about? Leave your comments down below. Well, that's all I gotta say about that. So give my channel a big old like, a thumbs up, and boom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. It's like I always say in my dreams and in real life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out of peoples.